Okay, the aim of this problem is to show how we can get the limit from this sequence by just finding an upper bound of the difference. Okay, so we are given this sequence a n that's defined by the its first term a1, which is 1, and a n plus 1, which is the square root of 6 plus a n. Okay, we want to prove that a n is between 0 and 3, and after that we're gonna see that 3 minus a n plus 1 is less than one third of 3 minus a n, and after that we're gonna find the limit. Okay, so the key here is that uh, we can use this one here, but before that, we need to prove this result here, okay? So to do this kind of question here, we're going to use the uh, principle of mathematical induction, okay? So first we have A1. So A1 is 1. It's true between 0 and 3, okay? Next, we're going we're gonna to assume that... Assume that uh, a n is between 0 and 3, and we're going to prove that A n plus 1 is between 0 and 3. Okay? So now, if we assume this is true, okay? So A n plus 1 has to be between 0 and 3. So we start from here. So we have this one. We have A n is between 0 and 3, and therefore, if we add 6 to both sides, we get 6 is less than A n plus 6, is less than 9. We take the square root of everything, so you get square root of 6, okay, less than a n plus 6, less than 3, okay? And this is what? This is, this is bigger than 0, and this is just a n plus 1, which is less than 3. Therefore, we have that for o n uh, a n is between 0 and 3. Okay? Next, we're going to show this result here. So, what we can do is, we start from here and we see what we can get. So, let's, let's see what we can do here. So, now, we assume that, let's have 3 minus a n plus 1 is going to be 3 minus, so we have a n plus 1. We know the formula. So, it's minus square root of 6 plus a n. Okay, next we're going to divide by the conjugate, divide and multiply by the conjugate. So 6 plus a n times 3 plus square root of 6 plus a n over 3 plus square root of 6 plus a n. So on this top here we have 9 minus 6 minus a n, okay, over 3 plus the square root of 6 plus a n. So this gives us 3 minus a n over 3 plus the square root of 6 plus a n. But this is always less than 3, therefore we have this one. So here, this is positive because a n is less than 3. This is positive, okay, because we assume that this, these terms are positive, and therefore, and this is less than 3, therefore we have 3 minus a n plus 1 is less than 3 minus a n over 3. Okay? Now we have this one here. So in this question here, we need to find the limit, okay, of a n, okay? So from here, we can jump quickly to a n. Let's move here. So we have 3 minus a n plus 1 is less than 3 minus a n over 3. Okay, so let's do 3 minus a n is less than 3 minus a n minus 1 over 3. Okay? Therefore, if we keep applying this one, we have 1 third, okay? Less than 3 minus a n minus 2 over 3, which is 3 squared. Okay? So, this is less than 1 th third over th uh, third to the power 3, 3 minus a n minus 3, and we keep going until we get to 1 th over 3 to the power n 3 minus a0, okay, or a1, because we don't have a0, okay, so here we can see that this is just 2 
so this is 2 over 3 here we started from 3 to the power n okay so therefore we have 3 minus a n is less than 2 over 3 to the power n okay therefore taking the limit we see that this one is 0 therefore the 3 minus the limit a n is 0 therefore limit of a n is just 3 okay and this proves that the our limit is 3 for this, this, this sequence. Okay, we did this one successively and we arrived at this result here. This is this is bigger than 0 and this is uh, this goes to 0. So this is the squeeze theorem here. Okay, it's hidden. We didn't want to talk about it, but this is basically the squeeze theorem. So the limit here, we take the limit inside. This is 0, this is 0, and therefore the limit of a n is 3. Okay, so remember how to do this one. So we need to do this one by using the principle of mathematical induction. Here we need to use some algebra and we keep applying this result successively here. Okay, until we get to the last term, which is a1. And after that, we find the limit. Okay, and I think that's it for this question.